WarroomSports.com. Get that mobile app. We talking about the finals. Not regular season. Not regular season. We talking about the finals. What's up, everybody out there? And welcome to another edition of Court Vision, brought to you as usual by War Room Sports in conjunction with the Sports Kings. Look, before we get into this, I just got to let you guys know, make sure you go visit sports-kings.com, warroomsports.com, and make sure you get that War Room Sports app so you can get everything that we do right there on your phone. All right, I'm Devin McMillan. I'm here at the round table with the homies tonight. We got Andy from Sports Kings. What up, Andy? What's going on, Dev? Uh, it's been a while since since I feel like we've done one of these shows. Uh, Dev, Dev wouldn't know how the whole thing goes because he didn't start watching until episode four. Court <laughs> 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 oh, Vision yeah. episode four. Season season four. Season Crazy thing four. is, everybody out there, if y'all laughing with us, kill yourself because you don't know what we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we got B. Austin, World Room Sports. Yo, uh, since the beginning of the season, I've been trying to find reasons to say that Steph Curry is not the greatest shooter of all time ever, bar none. Coming difficult. And I, it's difficult, and it's not that I don't love his game, man. It just feels like dirty and nasty to say that he's the greatest of all time on such a short notice. And if y'all noticing that we looking a little scriggly, yo, that's because the four letters is trying to jam our signal. Yeah, we getting big time. All right, we got Frank from Sports Kings. What up, Frank? I'm looking forward to breaking down all the intricacies of the finals, but really what I'm looking forward to is ABC's excuse to just cut to Mrs. Curry every time Steph hits the shot. And spray. I know you're watching. <laughs> yeah, what's creep up? life. Just at, at me at the bottom. It's all good. Hashtag, Hashtag creep, creep life. life. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Jimmy the Blueprint from World Yo, Wars. what's good, everybody? For those watching on the video, I just want you to know, Salute to my man Frank because he's so dedicated to the show and he's actually doing it out of the trap house right now. Just look at his background. Frank is doing the show out the trap house. So salute to Frank, man, for the hard work, man. Shout out mm-hmm. to Pee Wee Longway. The grind never stops. Just keep you, everybody keep your eyes peeled onto the you know the screen down there because it might be a raid in the middle of the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so <laughs> The NBA Finals are finally here. Um, We got this long wait in between series. I don't know how you guys feel about that. You know, that's that's been like the the whole discussion for the past week. You know, listening to everybody else whether this is too long or not. But whatever. The Finals are here. We're gonna talk about them. Uh, All right, Andy, give us your thoughts, man. How is this thing gonna play out? Well, initially, I, I felt like. Cleveland wasn't going to be able to compete with Golden State if they made it that far. But after watching the last round, I think, A, LeBron James is playing some of the best basketball I've ever seen LeBron James play, you know, over a course of time. And, I mean, the guys are stepping up. J.R. Smith's been – kind of looks like J.R. Smith. They got J.R. Smith that contract with the Knicks. He's still making waiting. shots. Still waiting for that three for 20. It's coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably Earl. is coming, but they, they can lose the series that way. Andy, um, on this show, I mean, you refer to him as Earl. Earl. <laughs> you can't have That's no fear of me. Earl. But, I, I mean, Smith, Smith's obviously uh, been a factor for that team. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, you know Mozgov protecting the middle has been great. I, I think it's a better matchup than I thought. I'm not ready to, to say Cleveland to win yet because I think we're – but uh, I I do feel like it's going to be a heck of a series. Fast pace. I think we're watching Steph Curry. We're watching we're watching LeBron James. Uh, Clay's cleared, so we're going to be watching Clay. Some of these these big names in the game right now. Kyrie Irving. I mean, it, it's going to be a blast. Right now, for me, like the depth of the Golden State Warriors is kind of hard to ignore. Um, those guys that you named are playing well for the Cavs. Like they're truly embracing that. That football cliche, next man up, because, you know, Kevin Love, of course, has been gone, and Tristan Thompson is doing his thing. To the, He's doing his thing to the point where people are saying he's better for the team than Kevin Love, whether you guys believe that or not. They tripping. Um, <laughs> yeah. Prisoner. Like I said, Earl, go and, Earl, Earl and Shumper. I, I, I agree with that, though. I'll yeah, tell you Earl, why. Earl and Absolutely. Shumper are playing as Black if protection. It, as if they didn't just come from the New York Knicks. You know, they're playing like they came from a better team. Yeah, his treasure. Um, That's but, LeBron's treasure right there. And, and the then treasure. LeBron. 
LeBron is like like Andy said is playing some some great basketball right now. Inefficient for LeBron, but that really doesn't matter because throughout the whole playoffs, people were talking about how inefficient he was. But look where they are now. You know, he had some monster stat lines, even though his shooting percentage wasn't good. But when he was efficient, people said, "Oh, he he's too passive. He doesn't <laughs> score enough." Yeah. So I mean, he he'll never be able to win in in that kind of thing. But um, so that means AI is better than we thought. Never mind. Go ahead. No, it just means a lot of us didn't believe that bullshit in the first place. <laughs> if you get it done, if you get it done, you get it done. Like if your inefficiency leads to lost Wins. games. Then there's something to complain about, right. but you know if you if you're jacking and you're still carrying your team to victory, then there's nothing to say. That's why I say all the, all these years, you know, people talk about Kobe and this and that. I'm like yo, I'm not even the guy who thinks rings are everything, but he got five rings. Like what are we? Hey, still yo, Kobe, about? tell me why, why are we still talking about shooting percentage? But anyway, um, I think the depth of the Golden State Warriors can't be ignored. Um, you know, they got cats like Andre Iguodala coming off the bench, um, and, and he's versatile he's, offensively. He's an all-star, yo. He played an all-star game. So, and he got cheated out of a dunk contest. So, so my, my last week before we got this whole Super Bowl-type layoff where you get to overanalyze and overthink things, I was thinking Golden State in six. Um, I didn't change that, but I did change it to Golden State in seven. So that's my overanalyzation right there. Golden State in seven. Was I supposed uh, to pick? Yeah, I don't know. Well, not this, not this. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't have nothing much to say. So I, I think I think Dev hit the point I really wanted to hit, which is the depth the depth of the Golden State Warriors. I think that will be the difference in the series. Um, as far as the week off, I think it's a good thing in the just in the respect, and this is sort of it just kind of fell this way where Kyrie Irving can kind of kind of get healthier, and that way we can have a more competitive series. Because I think this Cleveland team that beat the Hawks. You know, without Kyrie Irving, basically, for most of the series, that team would have got pulverized by the Golden State Warriors. I mean, just, it just wouldn't even – we wouldn't even want to watch the games, to be honest. So, you know, with him healthier, I think it definitely will be a more competitive series. I still think the Warriors do win in six. Um, again, I mean, they have – their reserves are better than a lot of the Cavs starters, to be honest. I mean, guys like Iguodala and David Lee could start for the Cavs right now, no doubt in my mind. So I, 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 he like he like three pros. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really think that, and I, I don't I don't think it can be ignored the difference between the Eastern and the Western Conference. I think all the teams that the Warriors faced, with the way the Hawks played in the playoffs, I think the Pelicans, the Rockets, and who am I missing that the Warriors played in the playoffs? Uh, they like the Grizzlies, the only, the the only team that gave them a run. Right, the only the team Grizzlies. that gave them a run is the one you're missing because the rest of them dudes was like they soft, dude. No yeah, I think all three of those teams could have beat the Hawks in a seven-game series this year. If you put them in a playoff series and you place those three teams against the, against the Hawks, no, I think it's all three four, of them could have beat four, them. It's four of us right now. We yo, can pick up a fifth and we could have beat the Hawks. Yo, y'all disrespecting <laughs> my man Kyle Corver, yo. Kyle <laughs> Corver didn't play the game. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't I think, think it's because he's white, yo. Yo, Kyle Corver got hurt. He didn't play the damn near the whole series. But the funny thing is when Corver got hurt, people were like, oh, man, the series but over. But don't people yeah, don't, don't realize that that's what's going to happen in court. this series, too. Draymond Green and Andrew Bogan, shout out right now. <laughs> My boy, Matt Elvadova, is coming for your knees. Dela Vadova did. My man is a six-foot goon. He got everybody shook. Listen, man. Let me get let me get my quick analysis real quick. Um, I'm taking Cleveland in six. The bottom line is like, yo, wow. Samsung and Nike done got too much bread for the. Um, <laughs> it's, it's LeBron's time. It's his fifth straight Finals appearance because if he doesn't win this Finals, then like FOH and I'm I'm on the B Austin bandwagon and slandering him on every video and show because at this point you gotta like start winning some of these Finals, man. And everything is set for him. It's supposed to be his time, you know. Everybody has their time. Mike had their time. Magic had his time. Kobe had his time. It's supposed to be your time right now. So you got to start winning some of these finals, man. Yeah, and, it's, his, it's his time to be Eastern Conference. Yeah, and, 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 the thing, and, the thing about, and the thing about the other team being deeper, me and Dev were talking on the, um, the greatest podcast since Al Gore invented the Internet, which is the War Room every Amen. Thursday, 6 to 8. Um, but we were talking on there, and like I said, there were times, if you go back and look, when Michael Jordan came into the finals, or, or you know, even Magic for that matter, and some of the teams they played, they, the teams they played had deeper teams, had better overall teams, 
but that's what made those guys the legends that they were. They were able to elevate he's their game. He's not to a point. them. I'm not saying he's them, but I'm saying it's supposed to be his time. So he's going to have to have one of those performances where LeBron plays out of his mind. It doesn't matter that Golden State can go 10 deep because LeBron is just the best player in the world, as we say. Like, he has to be that guy. If he's not that guy, I will slander him on everything, man. But he has to be that guy. So I'm picking Jimmy, Cleveland. you don't want to be right. No, no. Here's the thing. I'm picking Cleveland. I'm, I'm saying LeBron will step up. But if he doesn't. That's what I'm saying. You want to be right. Yeah, but if he doesn't. All right, that's John Kerry. He's going to need to do that. No, he's going to need to do that. He's going to need to step up and play out of his mind. But I think he will do it. I think Cleveland will win. And one title in Cleveland equals three anywhere else. So at that point, if he wins this one title in Cleveland, he'll probably get the Brett Favre pass, but he doesn't have to win anymore. You know what I mean? So he's going to get this one in Cleveland. All right. Yeah. That'll be their first title since what, 1968? Jim Brown. City? Since Jim yeah. Brown. Yeah. So that one title right there, like, is going to give him a pass, like, to stink it up the rest of his career and just, um, you know, basically accumulate stats. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, the possibility of LeBron winning a title, I just – Reread uh, Dan Gilbert's letter to you know when LeBron left. I just reread that today. LeBron, of course. Yeah. Like, I'm just like I'm. I'm looking at you, Brian. How, how are you gonna go back and play for that? Yo, <laughs> yo, the <laughs> only like, justification no, no, no. is if he peed on his desk. Yeah, it's like five <laughs> years later. Like you go back and look at that, and, you, and you're like, yo, I forgot how scathing that letter was. Like, unless he called Brian, them all unless, kinds of cowards, and, and unless Brian, unless Brian win a title there and then opt out again and leave, and just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he would have worked to do what he wanted though. He don't. He no. doesn't deserve that. It's <laughs> almost. It was. It was it definitely more petty than the uh, the Tom Thibodeau, the Bulls uh, press release about Tom Thibodeau, which was ten levels of petty. Like just like <laughs> just showing sub shots, like every sentence. Shout, shout out to the Bulls. I respect that. <laughs> Be also, how's this gonna play Richard out? Petty. What do yeah. we think Be also is gonna say before we start, you guys? Something yo, about three brown beans. Yo, yo, yo three the greatest beans. man. If you are if y'all are uh, hip hop fans, y'all understand why I'm writing. Yo, they went first, so I had to rewrite my verse, man. Oh, he's got the rebuttal. You ain't got bars like that. Yo, everybody knows I got bars, stage presence. Yo. Give us a give us a quick give us a quick eight. Though? Warriors. Wait, wait, is he choking? Is he choking right now? Oh, <laughs> <didn't see that. laughs> never. Never. He's gonna get this work. In six. You gonna get this work. Warriors in six. Uh, first thing I gotta say is Warriors. The white is gay. <laughs> Yo, I've been Dwight waiting since last year. Dwight Howard shot for no Dwight reason. Dwight Howard has nothing to do with this. Yo, Dwight player. Howard is still a champion. <laughs> Yo, he. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're gonna. Like, we're I, gonna I don't dish care. Him. I missed twenty free throws. I won my AAU championship when I was. Yo. Hey, by the way, B. Austin, I just want you to know them little singing bars you just get. That's gonna be on IG by tomorrow, doggy. No. Uh, <laughs> Warriors, the white is gay. Yo, we gotta diss him every episode just for saying that he's a champion. But anyway, um, man, everybody took the bars up. Um, the Warriors are deep boss. Um, starters, starter quality players along the bench. Um, but one of the things that that um, I'm, I'm gonna go in a different direction and just you know go with the true conspiracy theorists. Like as we can see with what's going on uh, in America. <clears throat> With the uh, the African American male, um, <laughs> the light skinned brother is back. Don't the light skinned brother with a with a father me. and mother, um, he's much more marketable than LeBron. So I really believe that Under Armour cut that check. Um, a couple of other endorsers cut that check, and it, That's a it, great behooves, point. it behooves them to have Clay Thompson and Steph Curry in the spotlight, man. So I got the Warriors in six. <laughs> two dudes with daddies, huh? Yeah, two dudes, two black dudes with daddies. Like I, I got the Warriors uh, in six, and the Cavs. Here's the thing: what it's going to boil down to, the Cavs leadership, um, which consists of a guy that was just traded there, and Earl Smith. <laughs> like if your best player is Earl Smith, and you're going to defer to Earl Smith and depend on him. <laughs> To bring it home for you, I just can't see that resulting in wins. I mean, over the long haul, um, 
yes, LeBron is getting it done in a watered-down Eastern Conference, and he's able to be this inefficient. What was he shooting, like 16% outside of uh, the paint <laughs> or something crazy like that? 16, I mean, he is, the best, he is the best player in the world, um, but being – that ain't hard to be in here, but still, I mean, right now, I, I'm I'm just going. Three, you Americans are so arrogant, man. Yo, I, I just yeah. want to see everything in best, every, everything in American sports is the best in the world. Absolutely. I mean that, that that that's what we do. But listen though, imagine how great it would see, be to see Earl win a chip because you saw how crazy he acted. Yes. Oh, oh my god. If Earl wins a chip, it's curtains. I'm a Earl. I'm actually a Earl. I'm actually a Earl fan. Like. On the on the humble, I, I support Earl. I'm I'm no man's fan. Let's get that clear. But I'm a fan of his game. I enjoy watching him play because it's like watching a rough house or a 21. He will shoot anything. He'll shoot a left-handed running 27 footer in the midst of a game. That's you heard what he said? He said, man, wide open shots ain't fun." <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's, he's, like he's like a kid playing a sport. You, yes. You're out there to have fun, buddy. And you gotta love you it. Out there, <laughs> plus, plus, the ball. You gotta love plus, it. he's one of the funniest athletes on Twitter, too, by the way. Yes, yes. yes. So, he, he be talking dirty to them yo. chicks, man. He got chill with I that. Just, so, just, if, if, Cleveland, if Cleveland wins the finals, uh, do they all dance naked in the hot tub again? Yo, shout out to um shout out to Iman Shumpert though, because I've seen his work and um he's got one of the prettiest looking ugly chicks in the game, yo. Salute to him, yo. Deanna Taylor and her mom, yo. Word up. My question um, is this though, does Kevin Love even man. like if they win, does Kevin Love even want to ring? Because he really doesn't want to be like he's so obviously like not a part of that team. You think he's gonna turn yeah, it down? He's, he's gonna want to ring because he might have to pawn it. You know what I mean? To... <laughs> <laughs> that's leverage. That's leverage for a bigger the, 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 the way he played this season, that's be he may not, agency leverage. Bigger, yeah, that's leverage. He may need to downgrade concert. his lifestyle a little bit. You know. Did you guys hear what Van Gundy said? Van Gundy said if Kevin Love does come back to Cleveland, he's about to come off the bench. <laughs> yeah. so, Jim, you were saying you were going to explain that. You said you think uh, Thompson no, I, I is think better that, for this team. No, and I'm not saying he's a better player than Kevin Love team, at I mean. all. Backpedal. But, but some, no, no, listen to what I'm saying. But sometimes for a team, right, mm. you need a guy that does certain things, that brings like a certain level of toughness, that grabs rebounds, that plays a certain way to make you a better overall team. Um, right. I remember back in the day when the Pistons, when they put Rodman in the starting lineup, in place of Mark Aguirre. Now, and Mark Aguirre was a guy that was averaging 20 points a game. But when they put Rodman in the starting lineup, everything just went to another level because he added those certain aspects of the game. And I'm not calling him Rodman, but he does some of the same things, just not as well as Rodman, obviously. But that's what I mean. I think as a team, when you watch them play, he does add a different dimension um, of toughness um, and hustle and rebounding to the team. They play better as opposed to Kevin Love just standing out there um, shooting the threes. See, that's I'm, I'm, not like, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering if that's Kevin Love's choice or does the Cavs have him standing out there to quote unquote yeah, open up things? Yeah, they couple, his last because couple, remember, he was a good, he was a great rebounder at one point. Yeah, actually, no, Coach was, LeBron, yeah, like Coach LeBron, didn't say go stand in the corner and wait for the ball to rotate. Yeah, they they, they tried to turn team. him into Chris Bosh, is what they tried to do. Basically, yeah, they yeah, tried yeah, to turn yeah, him. But into remember his last season in Minnesota, he's out there jacking him up too, though. I mean, he still grabbed his. But he was. Yeah. He was grabbing thirty rebounds though, Jimmy, in the midst of shooting three. <laughs> and, and wait, what about Trist, Tristan Thompson? Are, are we? Mm-hmm. Doesn't mm-hmm. Tristan Thompson owe like some money from his next deal to Al Horford and Paul Millsap? Because I, I feel like they made him look way better than he was. No, but even yeah. before that, last he's, he's, he's he's always before Tristan Thompson's always been one of the better offensive it, it, rebounders. Exactly, he's a good offensive Chicago rebounder. Series, in the Chicago series, he was going ham. I still think I still think the general public. Has probably still yeah, gone overboard a little bit yeah, on, on just the right Here's now. the thing about that. Don't he don't do nothing else. Break offensive rebounder per minute, but he don't do nothing else. But here's but the thing about that, though. I hear that he at, bet on himself one more time. Yeah. yeah, but here's the thing, though. When you make your name and when you become a household name, this He's is the best time to to LeBron's do it. agency. No, listen to what I'm saying, B. Austin. The playoffs is where you actually do this. I like it is. It's, it's it is. the same reason why Jimmy Butler's about to get a max deal. And shout out to Andy, who's been representing him. But he's the captain now. now. But what I'm saying is the way he showed his ass in the playoffs, no doubt, hey. he is going to get paid. I mean, this is the best time to do that. So hey. Tristan Thompson upped his stock by doing it at the right time. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the captain now. Kevin Love. 
Yeah, Derek, Derek Rose ain't trying to hear that, though. I, I think I think a great example of what Jimmy's talking about with Tristan Thompson, too, is the Warriors. I mean, I think you see the difference Draymond Green plays on that team, and I think the, the key to that team is exactly. everybody kind of everybody kind of plays their role. And I'm curious in the finals, like, it's a big stage. I'm curious if somebody's going to get a little too – Try to get the answer. Their role, yeah. you know, like if if like Clay Thompson's gonna be like, all right, maybe I should start jacking up some shots because I can hit Steph those shots just as well as Steph can. And then it, Look at me. I'm curious to see if that happens. I don't think it will because I think they're a very Whoa. well coached team. I think it'll think be Iguodala the whole season, so I don't think that'll happen. But it's a like curious story. Iguodala got some personal friends and start tripping. He I think he's gonna be David Lee on too. Like he give David Lee some minutes. And you know what, Andy? I mean Frank, rather. That's a great point you just made because. That's exactly what I was saying. Like Andre Iguodala is a, a, a better player overall than Draymond Green, but the fact is, when you put him in that starting lineup, not a distance, changes everything. I mean, I don't know about that. Iggy, Iggy well, he's a, definitely better than Harrison Barnes. I mean, he should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, going better than Harrison Barnes. Barnes. If you're going by talent, he should be starting on that. Well, team. they like Iggy off the bench. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy offers too many more things. He can handle the ball. He's a better defender still. I mean, talk to him, Andy. Talk to him. Nice skill set. Thanks, man. I mean, I can like. Can we talk about Clay Thompson? Clay Thompson's goatee is terrible. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think about his about his game. Every time I think about him, I see that thing, goatee. Here's the thing about it. Clay Thompson hasn't had a great like game or series yet. This has one, he had so he's had too. I know I he hasn't had, had to, but he's due for one, which is also yeah. scary yeah. on the other which side. Like, if the yeah. Just think about it. J.R. Smith yeah. hasn't had one of his J.R. Smith games, and Clay Thompson hasn't had one of his Clay Thompson games. No, but, a, but to be honest, an Earl, a Earl game can go either way. Like Earl gets hot. And doesn't stop and may drop forty. Yeah, but he hasn't gone the other way yet. Or yeah, he Earl, hasn't gone the other way at all yet. Right. Go two for seventy six. Yo, I think he was trying to go the other way, and some of them dumb shots were just falling. No, because yeah. remember, if, I know y'all remember. Like every round we've mentioned, the three for twenty is coming, and it still hasn't come. So yeah, well, I mean, the he, he may have seven more days. Devin, he, Devin, he's going to he's going to John Stark. He's going to break the game seven. LeBron is straight that out. LeBron has straightened that out. It's credit due to, to LeBron. He's. Well, I mean, the, you know, the advantage for Earl was that without <laughs> Kyrie, without Kyrie in the lineup, they needed J.R. Smith or Earl to take twenty shots a game. They needed his offense. Literally, they had nobody else to score. So, be honest, what you're saying is because that's his treasure, it's not gonna happen. As his treasure, as LeBron's man treasure, he's calmed that, calm that down. One of the points I want to touch on with Golo's <laughs> trash. Is <laughs> one of the points man I want to touch on the Golden State man trash. Is, is they have um stop man <laughs> they they have about five or six different players that they can rotate on LeBron because obviously no one player is going to get in LeBron's way because he's allowed to push off and dip his shoulder and step on your knees as he goes by. You, you thought it was a compliment coming? If you got Harrison Barnes, Andre Iguodala. Sean Livingston, yeah, I know he weighs a buck fifty and he's seven nine, but Sean Livingston, you got you know Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, you have so many players. Even the uh, the little, little Brazilian dude that really shouldn't be in the league, but is stuck Barbosa. around for some. Leandro Barbosa, he he's he's there. As he's Cannon, a good defender. As, he's a pit bull. As, he, yeah. He's trash. Uh, he's there as cannon fodder. He's there as yeah. cannon fodder for LeBron. So he look like he look like Tito Trinidad. <laughs> Tito Trinidad. He's a layup misser as well. He's from the. He's cut from the. No, he uh, does miss layups. I'm he's saying. cut from the Derek Fisher cloth. He studied at Derek Fisher school. He know what's coming. No, but he just misses like Fisher misses contested layups. Barbosa just misses layups. <laughs> Period. Yeah, well, I don't like strong arms. It. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Latin, we, we, let's let's go over the picks one last time, just in case anybody changed uh, since the the beginning of the show. So I'll start with you again, Andy. Call the series. I never made one. Oh, oh yeah, you didn't make one. I'm I'm just... <laughs> no, yo, he really is Hollywood. Well, let's, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not I'm making not, my picks to the end of the show. I'll, uh, I'm going to text you. <laughs> he just wants us to put my, a graphic my, on the screen. I have my assistant. Uh, and he says him. Golden State in six. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, taking, uh, I'm taking Golden State in seven. Golden State in seven. Be awesome. Um, Golden State in six. And um, Andy, can do you take your appearance fee and check or wire? <laughs> uh, check. Check will do. All right, that's going to be. Not from B. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't cash until Friday. Frank, call the series. 
shout out to Mrs. Curry. I got Warriors in six. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Yo, I'm taking Cleveland in six, yo. All right. Shout out to um, Caitlin. I'm gonna take um, <laughs> I'm gonna take Golden State in seven. So there you have it, folks. Those are our NBA Finals picks. Like I told you at the beginning of the show, make sure you go to sports-kings.com, and if you want everything they're doing in the realm of basketball, click on that Pass the Pill tab. Go to warroomsports.com. Make sure you browse around. Click on the WRS TV tab so you can see this show and shows just like it. Make sure you click on the WRSPN. That's the Warroom Sports Podcast Network tab so you can listen to all the great shows on the network. Uh, click the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And like we said, make sure you get that mobile app. But like we always tell you guys, don't accept mediocrity. Be steadfast in the war against ignorance. So you chumps on top. Congratulations. Congratulations, Swaggy P. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> The wait, it's the war room with five nights at the round table. Five Philly guys diversified and educated.